Hello everybody. Today I'd like to discuss the difference between regular kashrut and mahadrin kashrut. The kosher consumer is being driven crazy in our generation. So many different types of hechshirim, different types of stamps. This is like this, and this is like that, and this is mahadrin, and this is mahadrin mina mahadrin, and this is glat mahadrin, and this is regular. What does it all mean? I can't explain to you about each type of cash, what exactly what they're doing. What I want to say today is to explain the general difference that there would be between a regular bottom line cash route and the cash route that they call themselves mehadrin. Mehadrin comes from the word to be mehader, to do things in a more beautiful way. So let's take some examples of halachot, which generally a regular kashrut would be lenient with, and a mahadrin kashrut would be more stringent about. Let's take, for example, if we're talking about meat, let's talk about um, glat meat. Glat, everyone knows glat kosher, but what does it actually mean? Glat is Yiddish for smooth. It means that the lungs have been checked and the lungs have been found to be smooth. That means that there were no illnesses to the animal at all. But if the lungs weren't smooth, the meat is also kosher. But a mahadrin hechsha wouldn't give a hechsha if the lungs weren't smooth, what we call chalak, bet yosef, some people call it, glat kosher. If the lungs aren't glat, then generally, I can't vouch for every mahadrin heksha but generally a mahadrin heksha will only give a heksha to meat where the meat was found to be glat halak bet yosef a regular kashrut wouldn't worry about that and they would give a heksha to something that wasn't glat even of course it's kosher right we're not talking about not kosher but it's not glat nevertheless it's kosher that would be the regular level of kashrut. So you can expect on the Mahadrin level, the meat will be glat. You can expect on a regular level that it won't be glat. Chal of Yisrael or Chal of Akum. This is a halacha we'll have to talk about at a later time. But the idea of whether a Jew was there at the time the cow was milked, that's what we call Chal of Yisrael. Chal of Yisrael is a stringency. There are plenty of rabbis that permit not having Chal of Yisrael. In every Mahadrin Heksha, you can presume that the milk is going to be Chal of Yisrael. Whereas in any regular Heksha, you can't presume that, and probably, not probably, it, 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 it may not be Chal of Yisrael, and you're going to have to check that up if you're stringent about it. Another question would be gelatine. Gelatine is something that many uh, well, uh, let's just quickly say, gel how's gelatine made? You get the bones of animals and that have died and have dried up, and now they're not treif anymore, even if they came from non-kosher animals, according to many opinions. And then they're ground up and mixed with all sorts of other things and made edible again and used as a stabilizing agent in our foods, in many, many different types of foods. Does that gelatine have to be kosher gelatine made from fish bones, or is it also good if it wasn't made from fish bones? So every Mahadrin Heksha will only give you kosher gelatine in all their products. Whereas a regular Heksha may not. You can't rely on that. Again, it's kosher. No one's saying it's not kosher. But it's a stringency that many, many people like to rely on. So these are generally, if you can say generally in such a thing, the differences that you're going to find between a regular Heksha and a Mahadrin Heksha. The Mahadrin Heksha will always be more careful about everything. Another example, in the amount where, in, in, you know, when if, if you go to a slaughterhouse and you see the way they're slaughtering the chickens there, they're going at a tremendous pace. Um, and of course, the faster you go, the less careful you can be. The regular cash route is going to be shechting at a much faster pace than the Mahadrin Heksha. And that's also something that may need to be taken into account. More checks will be carried out on the meat or on the chickens before they get to the packaging stage. 
in the Mahadrin than they would in the regular. Those are the, if, if it's possible to say in a nutshell what the differences are, those are the differences. In everything, Mahadrin is going to be more stringent, and in everything, the regular will be the baseline, the bottom line of Kashrut, because that's also the purpose of the regular Kashrut, to provide the bottom line for people so that people won't be eating non-kosher food. Thank you.